hello guys welcome back to my channel this is expressive tone tv conveying your thoughts and feelings to the world new updates updates on israeli and palestinian war if we can remember on the 7th of october 2023 we woke up to a rumor of war between israel and palestine and they have been in war all these months People are dying, women are children, families are being wiped out. But all of us seems to have gone to sleep and forgotten that some people are at war somewhere. There is an update from the side of the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, who has said that Israel has made a way for the Palestinians to leave the war zone where they are fighting. According to him, the Hamas keep using the Palestinians as human shield. And also, they deliberately target Israeli civilians. I don't know how far that is true. But what I want to say about all these things is that I think that the words should come together as one so that this will not lead to a third world war because the israeli prime minister has said that israel will not cease fire he said anybody that is saying that israel should cease fire they are calling for israel to surrender to hamas and he said that can never happen my people what do you think about this war now what is your own opinion because america is supporting israel and some of those other uh, Arab countries, they are supporting the Hamas group. Is it supposed to be so? Are they not supposed to come together to, you know, kind of bring a lasting solution to this problem? I have not been born when this Israeli problem and Palestinian problem has been on. What do you think? Please drop your comments below. Press the notification bell. Also like my video. Please, I want to bear God and everybody in the world. Let us pray for peace in Israel and in Palestine. Not to support, to support Israel or support Palestine. That will not solve the problem. People are dying. Children are dying. Please, I want you to see the video where the Israeli Prime Minister is, you know, explaining their own part of the story when i see the video on the, Pal uh, the palestinian side i will also show you the video please watch the video fighting hamas in and the iranian axis Chase. of terror israel is fighting the enemies of civilization itself victory over these enemies begins with moral clarity it begins with knowing the difference between good and evil between right and wrong it means making a moral distinction between the deliberate murder of the innocent and the unintentional casualties that accompany every legitimate war, even the most just war. It means holding Hamas responsible for the double war crime it commits every day by deliberately targeting Israeli civilians while deliberately using Palestinian civilians as human shields. It means making clear that the use of human shields is not only an immoral tactic of terror, but also an ineffective one. Because as long as Hamas's use of Palestinian human shields result in the international community blaming Israel, Hamas will continue to use it as a tool of terror, and so will others. Hamas will continue to use the basements in Gaza's hospitals as the command posts of its vast terror tunnel network. It will continue to use mosques as fortified military positions and weapon depots. It will continue to steal fuel and humanitarian assistance from UN facilities. While Israel is doing everything to get Palestinian civilians out of harm's way, Hamas is doing everything to keep Palestinian civilians in harm's way. Israel urges Palestinian civilians to leave the areas of armed conflict, while Hamas prevents those civilians from leaving those areas at gunpoint. Hamas is also preventing foreign nationals from leaving Gaza altogether. And most despicably, Hamas is holding over 200 Israeli hostages, including 33 children, 
holding them, terrorizing them, keeping them as hostages. Every civilized nation should stand with Israel in demanding that these hostages be freed immediately and freed unconditionally. I want to make clear Israel's position regarding a ceasefire. Just as the United States would not agree to a ceasefire after the bombing of Pearl Harbor or after the terrorist attack of 9-11, Israel will not agree to a cessation of hostilities with Hamas after the horrific attacks of October 7th. Calls for a ceasefire are calls for Israel to surrender to Hamas, to surrender to terrorism, to surrender to barbarism. That will not happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says that there is a time for peace and a time for war. This is a time for war, a war for our common future. Today we draw a line between the forces of civilization and the forces of barbarism. It is a time for everyone to decide where they stand. Israel will stand against the forces of barbarism until victory. I hope and pray that civilized nations everywhere will back this fight. Because Israel's fight is your fight. Because if Hamas and Iran's axis of evil win, you will be their next target. That's why Israel's victory will be your victory. But make no mistake, regardless of who stands with Israel, Israel will fight until this battle is won. Who is the head is of won. the operational Israel naval operations that led the raids into Israel? His house is right next to a, to a school. His house is 200 yards from the hospital, the hospital of Rantisi. Next to his house, there is a tunnel. Now I want to show you an operational tunnel. The tunnel is built with electricity. We first saw the solar panels, then the electricity goes here. And it goes down directly to the tunnel. Now you can see the tunnel. You can see the tunnel. The tunnel is led down more than 20 meters down. The robot found a door. A door that is bulletproof. It's, uh, it's explosive proof. So it looks like a hard evidence, a clear evidence that the hospital direction is connected. This is a covered tunnel. It's part of the same floor and it slides down here. So it's a covered tunnel so nobody can find it. This is Rantisi Hospital. And this is the place where I showed you the tunnel. I want you to see. This is the back side of the hospital. Hamas used this hospital. Tonight we have entered into this building. I will show you the evidence. Let's enter into the hospital. We're now entering into the area of the hospital where we had uh, found the evidence. Uh, this operation was conducted by uh, Israeli Special Unit, the Israeli Navy SEALs. This is still an operation that is conducting. And I'm showing you the first evidence to see. We are now, we are now in the area of the basement of the hospital. I want to show you a room where we found all the gear, the operational gear of Hamas. Hamas is using hospitals, like we showed the evidence in Shifa Hospital. In other hospitals, we are now seeing it in live in Rantisi Hospital. An operation still conducting right now. Look at what Hamas is holding inside the hospital. I want you to understand. This kind of gear 